when the narcissist realizes you're better off. When they realize you're in a more desirable and advantageous position without them. When they realize that you are in a more favorable situation. The narcissist try to break you down. They try to destroy you. They try to make your life miserable. But you are still able to live your life undisturbed. You're still able to do what you need to do. And the narcissist sees this. They realize that you're better off without them. And this does have an effect on them. They are envious and jealous of your success. They want to take it away from you. Because they feel like your success is taking something away from them. They feel entitled to you and anything that you possess. So when you move on and you become successful without them, it makes them feel like you have robbed them of something. As though you took something that rightfully belongs to them. When really, that's what they try to do to you. They have difficulty recognizing that you are a separate person with your own life and resources. In the narcissist world, everything is enmeshed. Everything is entangled together. Where everything is just an extension of them. They do not see the separation between you and them, which is why they can never be happy. They're constantly trying to pull you back into their realm. While you're consistently demonstrating your separateness and individuality. Which feels like robbery to the narcissist. It feels like you were taking something away from them. Which is why if you move on and become successful without them. They feel like it's unfair. They become very bitter and resentful towards you. Even if they manage to move on and become successful, they're still miserable. Nothing can make the narcissist happy. Nothing can fill the void inside of them. Which is why they're always so angry. Which is why they always want to make people miserable. Because they're not happy. And no matter how much they consume, it never fills that void. They still feel like they're missing something. Which is why they constantly feel the need to take away the happiness of other people. Misery loves company. Unhappy people like to share their troubles with other people. They like other people to be unhappy too. When the narcissist realizes you're better off without them. When they realize you have more money which you can use to enjoy your life. And to live the life that you want to live. you're happier and healthier without them. When they see that, they can't stand it. It really eats them up inside. They return to you because they're hoping to witness your pain and suffering. They want to see the aftermath of everything they did to you. 
They want you to be worse off without them. They want you to be in a less advantageous position. They want you to be less fortunate. They want you to have less money and possessions. They want you to be in a worse situation than before you met them. So that you can't move on. So that you can't become a healthy, productive person. Because although they constantly complained about how they expected you to be better, that's actually the last thing they want to see. They want to keep you stuck in a situation where you can't progress, where you can't become a better person. Narcissists are known for constantly complaining about how they want people and things to improve. But when you actually put in the work to be that which they profess they like and support, that is when all hell will break loose. They will do whatever it takes to bring you down. They will do whatever it takes to destroy you. Because of how it reflects on them. It makes them feel small. It makes them feel like they're not good enough. So they want to tear down the very thing that they are envious of. Because you are a constant reminder to them of everything they are not of everything they wish they could be. When the narcissist keeps you stuck, it makes them feel better about themselves. It gives them satisfaction. They want your life to be so messed up that you're not going to be good for anyone else after they're gone. They want you to be stuck in a situation where you cannot escape, where you cannot progress, where you cannot be anything better or greater. Because then they feel like they have control over you and their control over you equates to their control over their own emotional state. They may try to hide their emotions initially but eventually it will come out. They can only bottle it up for so long until they're finally forced to express how they feel. without even realizing just how ridiculous they sound. Because they are offended by your happiness. It really gets to them. They cannot share your experience. They cannot be happy for you. They feel like you are taking their happiness away from them. When the narcissist realizes you're better off. They thought you were done. They thought it was all over for you. After everything they did to you. After everything they did to try to break you down. To ruin your reputation. To strip you of everything that makes you who you are and then to see you emerge from the destruction and ruin that they had caused. To see you walk away from the remains of everything that they had destroyed. And live your life as though they don't even matter. As though they don't even exist. And without any desire to get revenge or affect them in any way. It makes them feel physically sick. In some situations, they might pretend like they're okay. But trust and believe that it's really getting to them. They can't stand it.
when they realise you're better off without them, they may try to return to you. They may hoover you. Because they want a slice of the pie. They want to benefit from your hard work and dedication. Following your escape from their attempts to destroy you. They want to partake in the fruits of your labour. And they're hoping that they can manipulate you. Into returning to them. By love bombing you. Or making you feel guilty. But you need to cut them off. You cannot entertain the illusion that they are trying to portray. If you let them back in. It will be worse than it was before. Because now they have to punish you for leaving in the first place. They have to punish you for everything you showed to them. Everything you managed to build while they were gone. There is no second chances for narcissists. Because they're never going to change. They cannot partake in what you have established. They can only hate and envy you. It's time to return to yourself. Focus on your mental, emotional and physical health. Focus on your happiness. And leave the narcissist in the pit that they created for you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonates with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.